Warning, the following video has not been approved by the Comic Code Authority, and is intended for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. It's your MIA, Missing in Action, Comic Assassin, finally coming back to you guys to drop another video, and today we're going to be doing What's in the Box, right? I got three different boxes to open up for you guys, and... I wanted to do something a little different. I'm going to ask the question, is it worth it? Right? So with the exception of, I got three boxes, one I've actually already opened to actually do this segment, is it worth it? And that's going to be this guy right here. Right? That Spider-Man booth box. First one I've, I've ever purchased. Um, and I've been really hesitant on this box. I mean, yeah, you get a good opportunity of, or I should say you have an opportunity, not necessarily a good opportunity, of getting a good grand prize in there. But I've always held off on this box because they're usually newer books, which I usually already have. And I'm not a big variant hunter. I'm just not. Like, I, I don't really go hitting up books mainly for the cover. Um, sometimes I do, but that's never really been my thing. I like to pick them up for the read. Um, and this one, it, it's usually retails around $29.99 plus like $10 shipping. And the only reason I pulled the trigger on this one is because I was on the mailing list. They said, hey, this one day only, $10 off. So I'm like, you know what? Let's give it a try. You get five books. And, you know, I'm going to be honest. I've always just really liked the box. Even though one of my biggest issues with this box is that even it's called the Spy that Spider-Man booth. I rarely see any Spider-Man, <laughs> right? Um, so let's open it up and let's see, is it worth it? And lo and behold, I actually did get some Spider-Man, right? So this is Amazing 15, uh, homage, facsimile. Uh, this is from Unknown Variant, uh, Unknown Comics. It's the variant. Uh, even though it says $15, this actually does run for $8 to $20, on the second hand market. So a little bit good of a range and I, I don't think 15 is um, that bad of a price to put on there. Um, I already have this book though so that's the one negative but I didn't have this cover. So I got that one. Here's another one. Um, I've seen this one too before. Excalibur number two. This is a Perio variant. Uh, and this one, unfortunately, only really retails for five to ten dollars on the secondary market, as of recently. But it is a sweet looking um, ex uh, Gambit cover, Excalibur. I don't have this book yet. I have number one. Don't have number two. So that's a plus. Then we have X Men number four. This is also a Perio variant. But this one is only retailing for $8 on the secondary market. So about half of what they say up here, right? But it's still a sweet cover. You know, you got some X-23 action up there. Um, Prio is definitely a very good artist, so. Boom. And then we have New Mutants, number two. Right there. This is a Miko Sion variant. And this one actually goes for about ten to eighteen dollars on the secondary market as of recently. So that's not bad. Fifteen is not a, a bad number to put up there. I believe I believe this is magic on the cover, wielding a huge freaking sword. Which it's not the size of the sword; it's how you swing it. All right, but yeah, it's a pretty dope cover. Once again, another book that I don't have. I have number one. I didn't pick up issue number two, so that's a plus. And then we have the last book, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, number one. And this is Jay Ankicletto cover. It's a sweet looking cover. Once again, it's a book that I don't already have. So a lot of the books, out of the, four out of the five are books that I don't already have, regardless of cover. So I'm pleased about that. Um, this one, though, only goes around for 5 to $10 on the secondary market. And in fact, a 9.8 slab just sold for about $30. So it's not really a very highly sought after book um, or cover, even though I think the cover is beautiful. Um, but on the secondary market, they'll be paying that 15. You can get it for 5 to 10. All right. So the question is is it worth it? Um, 
and it depends on what kind of collector you are. Um, the one thing that I did not like about this, one thing I did not like is that when you open these bags up, this tape almost automatic. well this one is the first time I did it. Usually this thing rips, and so you automatically have to, to rebag it, uh, which I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, and you can still see it still left some stuff so i'll probably yeah i'm probably gonna have to rebag this one anyway so that's one thing i didn't like about the sticker process on it um but overall i thought it was a decent box um if i would have paid forty dollars i'd been uh, a little bit more iffy um, but they were all decent books um decent variants i mean you gotta think if i went to my lcs and these were all just ones i would pick up you know five books for you know let's say four dollars each that's twenty dollars Right, knowing that I got some cool variants in there, that helps it out a lot. They're all books I don't already have. That's a plus. So yeah, if, if you're more into the more modern books and you like the variants, it might be a box worth checking out. But then again, if you're not, it might be one you want to pass on. I'll let you be the judge. Overall, I'm pleased. Um, I'm glad I gave it a try. But like I said, I'm not usually a variant hunter. And... I am surprised that I don't have most of these books already, which would have meant that I would have had double copies of certain books. So if you're already a modern collector and you already collect a lot of these books, you might be doubling up, which might not be a good thing. So once again, you make the decision. Um, second one I want to do, this one's a little more special. This is one I've been waiting on. And... Boom, I got a package, and I already know what this is, but I haven't actually looked at it yet. Uh, got a little note in there, and it's a thank you note. And this comes from my friend, Renna Brown, and she's just thanking me for my continued support, uh, messaging her and everything, and getting a book. Um, she just threw, threw a little snake in there. Right, and so this is Renner Brown's debut of her book. And if you're not familiar with Renna, go check out Life with Two YouTubers. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, and you can still get these guys. So this is uh, an independent author. It's her first book, Isle of the Dark. Right, and so you can still get these online. I'll drop the link down below if you're interested. I think they're like 20 bucks plus shipping um, if you go through their website, or you can go through Amazon if you want to. Um, but going through them is a little bit more personal. I mean, she, you know, you can ask for an autograph and stuff like that, which um, she did sign. But I mean, this is this is a pretty hefty book. Rena, congrats to you. That is a that is a big book. Um. And so was it worth it for me all day long? Just knowing that I'm supporting a, a starting off more independent author uh, and supporting that passion. Plus, I mean, it, it's it's decent in size. And if you're not checking out what they do every Saturday on Life with Two YouTubers channel, they have an Isle of series, which I was fortunate to be on. Uh, and I've been fortunate to be just involved in this whole thing in, in, in some aspect um, of just trying to be supportive as I can. Um, and so, yeah, I look forward to getting into this book and checking it out. Um, but, yeah, if y'all are interested, I don't know how many copies they got, but Isle of the Dark. And uh, I, re I really wasn't expecting it to be this, this hefty. So it looks like I got a lot of reading to do, <laughs> which luckily I have some time <laughs> to, to do that kind of stuff. So um, it's amazing how, how, how big or small my to read stack has gotten um, over these last few weeks since we've all been kind of quarantined and whatnot. Last box, boom, it is a BAM box. Now this is the February pop culture band box. This one was super, super late getting here. Um, far later than I think anybody wanted it to be. Um, in fact, the other one, the, the March box is already in the mail. Uh, I've had, I've been sitting on this one for about a week just because, like I said, I've had time to do a video. Um, still it has the same 
same type of box. It's not the, the, the original box. It actually opens up a little differently too. All right. So you got a tissue paper. We'll get that out of here. All right. First one is the pin. Oh, and so the franchises. The franchises, if I can remember correctly, were Deadpool, Stranger Things, and the new Birds of Prey movie. Right? Those are the three franchises. Plus, there might be something extra in there. I don't know. So, I guess this is my Deadpool one. It's a pin. It's a pretty cool looking pin. Yeah. Yeah, I'll dig it. I dig it. Alright, this. Now, I'm not really sure what this is. It's a, it's definitely a bracelet of some type. Um, you know what? No, no. I actually, I think I do know what this is. I think this is. It's not from a franchise that we we're supposed to have. This is from Black Panther, which hey, that's cool. I mean, but then again, it's one of those items that I don't really know what to do with because it's not like a bracelet that I'm gonna be, you know, wearing around the house or anything like that or out and about. Um. I don't know about that that middle bead yeah I don't why I always enjoy comic book themed stuff in my box this is one of those ones that is it's definitely more obscure the only reason why I even know what this item is is because I actually seen people selling this item and they're not expensive um, I think like you know five five ten bucks or something like that if you want but, you know, it's, it's not a bad item. It's just not really one that I'm going to hit, skip, and jump about. Okay. Alright, so here, for the next couple of months, we will be doing a digital handout until the printing companies we use are back up and running. So basically, I guess that means that there's not going to be a spoiler sheet in here. Which means I have to go online and check to see, you know, what were the variants and stuff like that. Um, which I understand. We're all dealing with, with difficulties, so I understand that. But here is the second card. So if you remember the first one I, I opened up, it was Darth Vader, and which means there was it was going to be a Star Wars theme. So apparently, in every single box they're going to do this month, they're doing a, a collector's card that I guess you can put together and it'll make like a bigger picture. This one is looks like Luke Skywalker right there. So. And this is by Jake Geiger, is the artist on that one. So that's cool. I mean, I've already purchased the first, I mean, this is the February box, but I already purchased my March, and I think I've also, also already purchased, uh, purchased my April one as well. So um, I'll at least get the first four. Um, all right, so this is, an, here's the autograph. Uh, I'll let you see it right there. Um, it's signed by Maddie Cotteroplay. Okay. And I'm confused by this one. Let me go to the next one next. So like I said, the, the franchises were Deadpool, which we saw, Stranger Things, and then Birds of Prey. So let's see what the next one is first, because I'm kind of confused about this autograph. All right, and so here's the Birds of Prey. And actually, this is actually a pretty decent fan art. I actually enjoy this one. That is one that's probably going to make us way up on the wall. So beautiful fan art. Um, you know, you got the hyena, you got Harley. I'm assuming that's Black Mask. And you, know, you got the, the classic mallet. Um, yeah, this is actually one, one, this is probably one of the more favorable fan arts that I see from, from BAM. Like, this is actually really good fan art. I'm cool with that. Alright, but this one, that means that Stranger Things is the one that I'm missing. Assuming that, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is from Black Panther. I'm pretty sure this isn't from Stranger Things. But, this is not Stranger Things. In fact, this is, um, what's that show? God, the one that Jim Carrey was in the movie. Um, the unfortunate events, 
right? You, you, Lenny Snicket's, you know, Series of Unfortunate Events. That's what this is from. So I'm going to have to look this up real quick, all right? Let me look this up real quick. All right, so I'm just going to look up this person, Maddie. All right. So it's not neither one of the persons in the front. Okay, okay, now I know who this is, and this bothers me a little bit. This bothered me bothers me just a little bit. One because you they sold the franchise as being Stranger Things. That's not what this picture is from. Now this person right here is the person who signed it. And yes, they were in Stranger Things, and I remember exactly who he was. He was the arcade guy, right? He was the one that was kind of kind of creepy. Like, he was the one that was trying to get set up with the date um, for the sister. Uh, so he was the one that kind of worked at the arcade. Uh, I forget what his name was in Stranger Things. But, so yeah, I have two, I have two major... And I'm not disappointed with the autograph in itself. I'm not disappointed that they picked this person for an autograph. What I'm disappointed in is that first off, you said that Stranger Things was going to be the franchise, and my my daughter loves Stranger Things, so I was actually looking forward to giving her whatever it was that we got. But I can't give her this because why? This has nothing to do with Stranger Things. Right? This is a series of unfortunate events, and the person who signed it is in the background, <laughs> right? Like there were so many opportunities for pictures that you could have used for this person and I don't know I'll, I'll still have to go check the spoiler sheet and maybe I'm hopefully there were some different prints because if this is the only one I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people just a little irritated because it is misleading when you say that Stranger Things is gonna be your franchise and you don't get anything really related to Stranger Things except someone in the background also was in Stranger Things so yeah was it worth it um, overall I dig the pin you can't go wrong with Deadpool uh, the cards not bad even though I'm not a huge fan of this whole connecting series cards thing that they're doing um, the bracelet isn't bad as have nothing to really use it for like it's probably just gonna go back in the box and sit there until I find someone to really give it to um, this to me was probably the best item in the box and that's the fan art I thought this was actually some really dope fan art and then this and once again it's not the, the it's not the actual person who signed it that I have an issue with because um, even though he played a small and I'd have to go back and watch stranger things even though he had a small part in stranger things he was still kind of one of those cool you know additions to the series um, so I have no problem with the autograph itself it's just this isn't Stranger Things and the main person signing it is in the background um, which to me just seems seems silly so this one I'm, I'm totally on the fence on uh, I'm not 100% disappointed but I am not 100% super excited about uh, but hey the next one's coming out um, and I'll be doing a box on that one too. So we'll just have to wait and see. So once again, y'all, thank y'all for checking out this video. Um, I hope you liked what you see. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these items. What do you think about these boxes? Uh, please let me know. I hope all of y'all are doing good. Hope you and your families are being safe and are just taking care of each other during this time. I know it, it's, it's very, um, tiresome. It's very trying for a lot of people under a lot of different circumstances. And just know that I'm wishing all of you and your families the best. And I would wish you all happy hunting, but all the LCSs are pretty much closed. There's no new books coming out. So um, I'm just going to say, hey, take care of yourselves, take care of your family, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Peace.